Hey, Eric here with Black Ink Creative Partners for the ProcurementCon brand family. That's ProcurementCon, BizCon, and BizTalk. I want to give a quick thank you to all our speakers who spoke at Monday's event. It was fantastic. I'm not going to get really crazy into everything here, but um, sponsors, you will be getting credits uh, on all the videos, so be on the lookout for that. But to the owners, Will and Alex, two of the five owners at 3BR Distillery, fantastic job, talked about partnerships. And so you're going to want to check out that when it comes up. Probably next week, all these episodes should be up and out for your viewing pleasure. Joanne Newborn from Newborn Evolution, she talked to us about purpose. And truth of the matter is, is we all need purpose. We often figure out what our purpose is, whether we're entrepreneurs looking to elevate to a national level or we're just happy, you know, working in our locale, serving our community. Uh, or even if you're just a, a, an employee, having purpose is important. So she talks a little bit about her purpose. And then we had Dominic Belfiore, who is the uh, VP small business relationship manager for M&T Bank. Funny thing, you didn't come up to talk about banking. You didn't come up to talk about finances. You didn't talk about resources. He talked about health. He talked about entrepreneurs' health. And the reason he can talk about that is because as a relationship manager, he knows when his clients are burning the candle at both ends because every entrepreneur burns the candle at both ends. You do, I do, they all do. So it was really good to hear uh, that topic coming from uh, someone who sees it firsthand from an observational perspective. Now, I'm not going to say your last name, Dr. Jacqueline, because you're going to kill me because I keep butchering it. Dr. J is a professor of entrepreneurship. She's the regional director for NJSBDC at Brookdale Community College, and she's a lifelong entrepreneur. She talks about the four agreements, which is a book um, that you folks should check out. Check out what she has to say about that because it helped. It, it, she still refers to it no matter how long ago she read it. She still refers back to it. She still lives by it. She still works from it. It's a great opportunity for you to find a starting place um, when you're on, on your small business journey. Laura Depko, thank you so much for talking to our contact director, Hazel. She really appreciated the time you gave her. Uh, Laura, we interviewed uh, for our uh, Biz Talk, the series, uh, the show, which is premiering January. Uh, but she came to the main stage uh, on Monday and she talked about her journey. And she's proof that um, it never ends. One thing always can lead to something new, something bigger, something better, something that you add. So check out what she has to say when that episode pops. And then, of course, we have Jen Perkel, who came to the stage using her teacher voice. She didn't want to use the microphone. Um, really great story she has. She went from a career. This is her second life as an entrepreneur. She went from as a career music teacher, classically trained, to a entrepreneur starting. She started with one pop-up market. And in two years... She's got over 100 markets throughout the entire state. If that's not scale up, I don't know what is. And she is a one-man operation. So check out what she has to say. Finally, people are going to say to me, Eric, you cannot berate a small business owner. Well, yes, I can. And if I can thank them for showing up, and I thank you all for showing up, those of you who did. I also thank those who emailed me who couldn't make it. The rest of you who didn't were a no-show, no call, no email, no nothing. Let me explain how this works. Branding works on both sides of the fence. Customer facing, client facing branding, that brand experience for them, you want to make that the best. On your backside, your back end, your resource partners, your counselors, your lawyers, your accountants, your suppliers, your vendors, whomever, uh, you want to make it as pleasant on that side as well. Right? So by Taking a ticket from us, and we understand things happen. We respect things happen. But next time, email us if you're not going to show. Pay it forward if you're not going to show. Give it to somebody who will show. Send somebody from your organization. Because these events that we're not charging a ticket fee for, they cost us. And they cost the people who come to the stage to talk. So keep that in mind because you wouldn't want somebody doing it to you. So... All berating aside, we do love you and we want to see you at our events and we really hope for the best. But remember, the next time you RSVP a free event for us, show up or do us a real solid and do your your associates and friends a solid in small business. Give it to them because they might not have been on our list. If you can't make it, give it to them. Pay it forward and send them over and um, 
that's really all I have to say. We'll keep you posted on what's happening with BizCon coming up in March and where we're landing on the Procurement Con in November and any other events we put together next year. You'll be the first to know.